What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple spline path using PCG. It's going to be a very easy view to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is enable the PCG plugin. Let's go up into edit, plugins, search for PCG and enable the procedural content generation framework. You just enable this and then restart the editor and boom, you will have the plugin enabled. So then in the content browser, let's right click, scroll down until we see PCG and select the PCG graph. Let's name this something as PCG underscore spline path. And now open this up. So essentially what we want to do is get the spline data of our level and then simply instantiate some static meshes, you know, every so often. So first of all, of course, we need to create a new spline path in our level. So for this, let's right click and create a new blueprint class. And this is going to be an actor because it's simply an object that is placed in the world. Let's rename this something as BP underscore spline path. Open this up. And it's going to be very simple. The only thing that we need to do in this blueprint is add a new component, which obviously will be the spline utility component. Compile, save, close, and that's it. You just drag it into the level and we can see the spline. So you select the first point over here, hold the left alt in the keyboard and then drag with the mouse. And now we can do this again. And one last time, as you can see, we create a simple path. So how does now the PCG uh, you know, communicate with this spline path? Well, we can right click, say get spline data, and this node will do exactly that. So how do we specifically reference this one in our level? Well, there's a couple of ways to do this. What we can do is instead of searching by the same blueprint, we can search all world actors and then actor selection by class. And now we simply specify the new class that we created, which is PP uh, spline path. And now it will find all of the actors with this class in the level. Right now it's only doing it for one though. So if you want to enable select multiple, go ahead. So with that, we can simply use this spline sample node, okay? Which will essentially just put in some points across our, you know, spline. So dimension will stay on, on spline. Mode will be distance, as I mentioned before. And then this will be unbounded. Save. Drag the PCG spline path into the level, which I don't know if I already did. Maybe it did, I don't know, but hey, let's do that again. <laughs> Press D on this node, and then as you can see, we have some new points, which is pretty cool. So drag here and say static mesh spawner. And now if we go to mesh entities, we can add one mesh entity and select a static mesh. Let's put in a simple cube and boom, we have now some cubes along the spline. Super easy and quick to do as you can see. We can of course start to change the parameters. For example, under the spline sample, we can change this to be 50. And now the distance will be, well, less. If I put this to be 100, now there's less cubes. So you get the idea. Let's put in this back to 100. And then there's another thing that we can do which is the static mesh spawner. Break this, connect this in between, okay? So now we can simply, for example, change, uh, sorry, why did I put the static mesh pattern? As it be transform points. <laughs> so about that, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, transform points. And this node enables us to go ahead and edit the points. So we connect this in between. We're gonna change the minimum to be like 0.5 and then the maximum to like 0.9 or whatever. As you can see now, it's like random between those values. There's a lot of things that you can do. Let's do this by one. And then what I'm going to do is use this, you know, wooden fence that I imported from Fab. Okay, as simple as that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use in the static mesh spawner, drag this new uh, fence into here. And boom, here it is. So now, of course, I just need to increase this. You know, you can of course place. Uh, okay, so <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, the, you know. Thing is staying the same. Why? Because I'm dragging the PCG spline path, as you can see. What I have to drag is the spline path blueprint itself, which is this one. 
okay so it's, sometimes by clicking the level you you know press other stuff also select the first point and you can move it around so as you can see it was overlapping now it's not overlapping and yeah you know this overlapping you can always increase maybe the distance 220 and so on but overall as you can see we're having a little path which is pretty cool of course we can change the um, you know scale with these variables but um, we have this done in two seconds so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it because if you don't subscribe to my channel if you're serious about learning on Gen 5 join my Unreal club and now yes because i said bye bye